Hey everyone, today I've got an exciting laptop to talk about. The HP Victor 16 that features the newer Ryzen 7 7840HS and a 6GB RTX 3050. So stick around because we are diving deep into everything you need to know. And I will share my personal experiences using this device as my daily driver. Explore the Ryzen 7 7840HS and the newer 6GB RTX 3050. Plus, I will spill the details of my day to day uses with this laptop, helping you decide if it's the right choice for you or not. And hey, don't forget to join my Telegram group. If you have questions about laptops or any other tech gadget, feel free to ask. You can find the Telegram link in the video description as well as the description of my channel. Now let's get into the detailed review of the HP Victor 16. Okay, let us start with the specs. It's fueled by an AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS processor with 8 cores and 16 threads. The laptop's major feature is the 95W TGP RTX 3050 with 6GB VRAM. The display is a 16.1 inch 144Hz IPS panel. The laptop also includes 16GB of Excite module dual channel DDR5 RAM at 5200 MHz and can be upgraded up to 32 gigs in total. Storage choices includes a 512 gigs of PCI Zen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD which can be extended up to 2 terabyte. Now for the connectivity, it comes with Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6E with a frequency range of 160 MHz. Visually, it is quite similar to the Intel version with a clean and simple design and a big V logo in the center of the cover. The whole appearance reflects a sleek and clean design particularly in the current performance blue color variation. In terms of proportion, it meets expectation for a 16-inch laptop, 23.9mm thick and weighs 2.29 kilos. Opening the lid with one hand might be a bit tricky and you will notice some flex. Adjusting the angle and letting go may result in a slight bubble. Not a deal breaker but not flawless either. The base is generally strong, though there are a couple of spots, particularly above the touchpad and around the arrow keys where you might notice a bit of bending. The top bezel contains a HD web camera with a privacy shutter and temporal noise reduction. Some gaming laptops in this price range are missing these safety features. So this is the camera quality of the HP Victor 16. While you can use it for online conferences and connecting to your online classrooms, but if you want better quality, then I would suggest you to get an external webcam so you will get a better video quality. The voice you are hearing right now is also being captured from the internal microphone of this laptop. For now, I'm not able to hear my own voice, so you can tell me in the comment section. Now the keyboard is definitely a relief. It has a full-size numbered section and an RGB backlight which can be customized using the HP Omen software. Though it's only a one zone RGB keyboard, but you can customize the different effects. It offers long key travel and clicky feedback, which makes the unit pretty comfortable for gaming and for typing. The only exception here is the size of the arrow keys. By the way, there is a dedicated button which launches the Omen Gaming Hub. As for the touchpad, well, it's really accurate, pretty large and fast to respond to your input. By the way, you will be able to see a grill above the keyboard, but we believe its sole purpose is ventilation. Moving to the bottom panel, you will notice a ventilation grill, ensuring efficient air flows. The heat generated is cleverly expelled through two of the vents at the back. Now diving into the internal setup. The cooling system is a quite good looking arrangement. Two heat pipes work side by side, serving both the CPU and the GPU, while a third one is dedicated to the graphic memory. Connecting to a separate heat sink, adding to the efficiency. Two heat spreader manage the cooling for the graphing memory and the VRM. Now looking at the ports, on the left hand side you will find a audio combo jack, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port and an Ethernet port. On the right you will find a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports, HDMI port and an AC power port. Although the USB-C connector does not support Thunderbolt 4 speeds, but it is not a significant drawback. Now let's shift our gears toward the display. So, there is a 16.1 inch display on the Victus and it's a bit of mixed bag. Even for a budget friendly gaming laptop, the brightness coming in at 250 nits is on our lower side. Additionally, the viewing angles are fairly limited. Now in terms of color coverage, the display here offers 46% of Adobe RGB, 61% of sRGB, 45% of DCI-P3 and 45% of NTSC. It's worth noting that if you are into basic color grading like saturation and tint adjustment, you might encounter some challenges. For advanced color grading using the Lumetric scope, I would recommend opting for a color accurate monitor for precision. However, the display signs in the other aspect, with a high contrast ratio, featuring separate blacks and nice dynamics. Adjusting contrast, shadows, white and black for editing according to your preferences become a breeze. This makes the display particularly well suited for gaming and media consumption. But to compensate, the display does provide 144Hz refresh rate. 
which results in clear, smooth motion for gaming graphics. And we like the anti-glare finish on the screen as well. So while it may not be go-to for advanced color grading, it certainly delivers a vibrant and dynamic visual experience for entertainment and gaming needs. Now introducing the Ryzen 7 7840HS, a powerhouse from the Phoenix family of processors with 8 cores running at 3.8 GHz and a blazing boost clock speed of up to 5.1 GHz. This chip is a true marvel. Thus, to begin with, Cinebench R24 is our first and most popular test. The results in single core and multi core are more than sufficient for simple CPU tasks and when combined with the 3050, you can expect very good performance in 3D applications such as Blender, AutoCAD, Unreal Engine and many more, as well as really good performance in apps like Premiere, DaVinci and After Effects. In Cinebench R23, the 7840HS performed extremely well. With its amazing improved single core and multi core performance, roughly 20% and 28% quicker than the older 6800H and the newer 7535H. Yet it is still unable to match the enormous performance gap produced by the i7-13700HX. Now the performance gap on the Geekbench 6 is nearly same to what we observed in the R23. But surprisingly, the 7840HS outperformed the Intel in single core scores. Moving on to the PC Mark 10, the outcomes are a little bit inconsistent. The performance of the 7840HS capped at around 6900 which is decent but not enough to stay up with the i7-13700HX. I wish it had continued to reach the 7000 level. Next up is the Blender. The performance in the Blender is amazing. It's usually preferable to utilize the dedicated NVIDIA RTX 3050 GPU since it offers NVIDIA Optics API hardware acceleration even though the Ryzen 7 7840HS can render the scene efficiently. Now we have tested the system in 3 sub benchmarks for the 3D Mark. Fire Strike is the initial one, the time is spy and the night raid comes last. The Victor 16 did rather well in every test, showing usually very outstanding figures. Now, for the last benchmark we performed, we used Nova Bench. This benchmark is a bit different from the others since it evaluates the entire system, including the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage, and the results are likewise excellent. And for this particular model, the base TGP is around 80 watt, which can be further increased by 15 watt of dynamic boost. Now, without any more talk, let's drive straight into the gaming test. And these are the results. After setting up Miles Morales as my first game to test, I found that the frame rates were 83 on average. This was achieved with anisotropic filtering set to 8x and upscaling set to DLSS 1080p resolution. Next up is the RDR2, which is again tested at 1080p max settings, so now the 3050 is doing the more work, but even then it can't achieve the sweet spot of 60fps. Explored by the Cyberpunk 2077, here the graphics are set to 1080p high with the ray tracing set to medium, and you can see the FPS that we are getting is the lowest of the other games that I have tested, and that's because of the high VRAM usage of this game. Even the RTX 4050 that I have reviewed in one of my laptop review video have problem when tested this game with ray tracing on. Now here are some more games that were tested on the system. Battery is a big 70 watt hour pack. When the brightness is lowered and the battery saving settings are activated, it may operate for over 7 hours. According to my testing, for everyday activities such as online surfing and viewing videos, the battery may last around 4 and a half hours. However, when gaming, you should expect an average battery life of around 2 hours. They sound clear with good instrument separation but a little artificial and low in bass. Now let's take a closer look at the SSD's read and write speed. They are quite substantial, signaling that HP has opted for a top-notch SSD. I must say I am genuinely impressed by the performance of this storage powerhouse. It's a standard feature that truly elevates the overall speed and responsiveness of the system. So heads off to the HP for choosing a quite fast SSD for this laptop. 
during an intense 60 minute stress test using the firm Mark and Prime95 tools, there were no signs of CPU and GPU throttling. In Prime95 test, the 7840HS reached a peak temperature of around 90 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, in the Fermark test, the RTX 3050 settled at a high, yet still manageable 60 degrees Celsius, well within safe and uncritical temperature ranges. Now onto the fans, they are virtually silent during regular use and become audible only under heavy loads. As of making this review, you can grab this laptop on Amazon for around 74,000 rupees. Finally, moving up to the conclusion and the verdict what I think about this laptop, should you buy it or not? The Victor 16 does have certain flaws. Most notably, the color inaccurate 1080p display, which have a lower 250 nits of brightness level. However, the performance provided by the Ryzen 7 7840HS paired with the RTX 3050 at such a great price point is fairly a fantastic deal so far allowing Victors to provide outstanding performance at a cheap price. And the battery life is also longer than the most 16-inch laptops, making it suitable to carry around colleges or schools or even if you are a business person, you can take it to your offices or businesses for reports and presentations. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did creating it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I will see you next time. Till then, stay awesome. Keep spreading positive vibe. Peace out.